You deserve everything bad that's happened to you. It's your fault. You have no power. It won't last. You'll be sick again, just watch and see. They're just using you, they don't truly love you. Nobody believes you anyway. You've messed up far too bad to fix it. You'll never have money to do anything about it. God love you. Who cares about you? Nobody thinks you're good. You are such a loser. Enough! So how do you deal with attacks like that? How do you cope with it when you're just going through your everyday life and voices either from people you know or just strangers out there social media or god forbid inside your own head what do you do when the devil attacks you and says you're not worth it you're not gonna be taken seriously you're never gonna amount to anything what do you do when you hear these lies? Well, I got good news. Not only did God come here to die for our sins, as he promised, he works in our everyday lives. It, there are so many examples of it in the world. And we say, oh, what a coincidence. I, I'm not sure I believe in coincidences anymore. I have just seen too many things. That the chances, the odds. I mean, look at evolution and and the whole Big Bang Theory, one in a gazillion. But there's infinite time and infinite numbers, so there's always a logical explanation. But the truth of the matter is, when it's personal, when it's in your head, when it's in your house, when it's in your life, and you're faced with it every single day, how are you supposed to deal with that? Well, the good news is that there's a whole book in the Bible written about it, there's little snippets in other places like Psalms and, and oh gosh, Je uh, Jeremiah and, and uh, just so many Corinthians. But specifically, the book of Philippians. Have you seen this book? It is amazing. I love this book, okay? I love the whole Bible, but specifically the book of Philippians. Check this out. So, Paul, he is in jail in either Rome or Ephesus. They don't sure exactly which. In like CE uh, 62, I believe is what their guesstimate is. And he's writing to the church of Philippi. And he says, y'all are doing great. You've got it going on here. You are in total love with God. You are really passionate. And you're full of joy in the spirit. But you're going to come under attack. Now, remember, he is under attack. He is in jail. He even starts off saying, look, I'm in bondage, so I totally get this, and I know where you're coming from. I felt that joy. I have been there. I'm still there, even though I'm under attack right now, spiritually and emotionally. This man should have been a babbling idiot. Like, if I was in his shoes, I'd be crying, Jesus, help me. Why? I had to be in a puddle on the floor curled up in the fetal position. Yeah, that would have been me if I'd been Paul. I guess that's why he's considered a saint. That's why God chose him to be one of the apostles. And then he turns around and he writes to a Philippians. And he says, you're doing great, miss, but you're going to come under attack. So that's what one through three Philippians is all about. You're doing great. You're going to come under attack and it's going to be depressing, okay? It's going to drag you down, but here's how you deal with it. And then he goes into the conclusion, the climax, whatever you want to call it. And that's in Philippians 4. I wrote some notes down, but honestly, it's like blazing to my brain right now. So 4, 8. Check this out. He says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. And I'm just going to paraphrase here. True, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report. If there be any virtue, and if there are any praise, think on these things. So, like, in other words, focus on the things that God's done for you, the promises that he's made that he's kept, and the things that he says he's going to do, because you know if he's kept the ones in the past, he's going to keep the ones in the future too, right? So we got some good things coming, guys. In the future. 
God's given us promises. And he says, focus on those because those are going to happen too. So you know it's happened before. It's happening right now. And it's going to happen in the future. It's kind of like in my miracle report. God is the God of then, now, and future then. So yeah, he says, focus on these things. Focus on the things that are good and virtuous. So you're having problems with your kids? Maybe they're mad at you. They're 21 years old and they're rebelling and they're like, I hate you. I'm never speaking to you again. Been there, done that, guys. That hurts. That hurts so bad. And and all you want to do is curl up in a ball and the devil's like, you know they hate you. They're, they told you so. You know you're never going to see them again, right? That you have screwed up your relationship to the point that they don't want anything to do with you and there's no hope of recovery. And Jesus steps in and he goes, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, see, you raised them to do the right thing and they're gonna come back to that. And I promise you that when you love me and I love you back, it's not just your generation, it's your kids too. And that's a promise in the Bible. And you know what? He stepped up. Both my kids talked to me. They're with me. There was a time I didn't think they would be, but I've seen that. It happens. It happens. God said, this is going to be for my glory. Everything you go through is for his glory. It's not going to be for his glory if you never have victory. You can have victory in overcoming the voices of the lies of the devil. When he comes at you and he says, you're nothing. You say, no. I'm beloved by Jesus. When he comes at you and he says, you're going to amount to nothing. And you say, I'm already something. Because my Jesus loves me. And it doesn't matter what you think. Because that's the voice of the accuser. And God has already paid the price for everything he's accusing you of. So why do you care what he says? These other people that want to judge you, they're not the ones standing at the throne you don't have to answer to them in the end. The only one you've got to answer to is God. And he says, I sent my son because I love you and I would rather die than live without you. And that's what he did. And you know what? Then, perfect as he was, he went to hell. He preached there. And he brings up those who were faithful in waiting and, and knowing him and working towards him. And that's another promise he fulfilled. Isn't God great? It's amazing. So yeah, if you're depressed, would you come under attack? Open your book and remember Philippians 4, 8. Remember the promises God has for you and the things of virtue, the things he's done for you and how wonderful and beautiful he is. Look at all the beauty and wonderful things he put on this earth, not only to glorify him, but to bring us joy and to teach us more about him. Sounds pretty cool. y'all are pretty cool for joining me today thank you so much for patiently listening to me and for coming back and checking out the channel once again if you had fun and you liked this video be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe because we've got some great stuff coming up here pretty soon we're going to do a chicken video on the top i'm not sure if we're going to do five or ten but i'm thinking ten so top ten chickens for beginning your flock uh, for egg production and for self-sustainability. Like you don't want to have to be buying chicks every year to replace them. You want to be able to raise your own. How can you do that a little bit easier? And what chicken breed should you start with? Then after that, we're gonna visit um, a, a brand new up and coming chicken breeder. We're gonna have a breed focus for sure on silkies. And then I'm thinking we're gonna target those chicken breeds and get a more in-depth look at each of them so look for some breed highlights on for sure Plymouth Rock for sure Leghorn for sure Orphan Tens 
I, there's so many. I don't want to spend any more time on that. That's coming up. So be sure to hit the subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you learned anything and you think that other people in your life could use this information, don't forget to share. It's like, right? It's one of those. Y'all know which one. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.